Recently, it was a real eye-opener for me to see Diana Lee Inosanto in the Star Wars series Ahsoka, in which she plays the character Morgan Elsbeth, a major nemesis of Ahsoka herself. For those of you who aren't aware, Diana Lee Inosanto is the daughter of Dan Inosanto, who, in my opinion, is the most significant first-generation student of Bruce Lee. This led me to an interview Diana did with Bruce Lee's daughter, Shannon Lee, a little over two years ago. Now, Diana is Bruce Lee's goddaughter, and according to Shannon, Diana is a lifetime family friend and a dear friend of Shannon's herself. And this seems to be the case when you watch their interview. But in the past, it was rumored that things were not so friendly between Shannon's mom, Linda Lee Codwell, and Diana's father, Guru Dan Inosanto. And it's been said that they were embroiled in a dispute that would have huge repercussions in the Jeet Kune Do universe. Dan was an accomplished martial artist before meeting Bruce Lee, having trained in Okinawan karate, judo, jiu-jitsu, and American kenpo. But it was after his meeting and close friendship with Bruce Lee in 1964 that he would leave an indelible mark on the world of martial arts. He would have a significant influence on Bruce, introducing him to his signature weapon, the nunchaku, or nunchucks, which were featured in four of Lee's iconic films. He also introduced Lee to Filipino martial arts like Kali and Eskrima and how to use a bow staff. He's pictured with Bruce in a series of books entitled Bruce Lee's Fighting Method. And probably most significantly, he's the only one of Bruce Lee's senior students to be featured in one of his movies, giving us the most epic nunchuck battle ever put on screen. Guro Inosanto held three third level instructor ranks in all three of Bruce Lee's disciplines, including Jun Fan, Kung Fu, Jeet Kune Do, and his Tao of Chinese Kung Fu. He also acted as Lee's senior instructor at his LA Chinatown school. Because Bruce made Dan promise not to commercialize his art of Jeet Kune Do before he left for Hong Kong in 1971, Dan would eventually tell promoters to use the name JKD Concepts with the intention of illustrating the concepts of JKD rather than JKD itself. Eventually, the concepts suffix would proliferate within the JKD world. And in response, the term original JKD would be used by those who had a problem with the term JKD concepts. They would argue that JKD concepts was this umbrella term used by instructors to describe the arts they may have included in their curriculums but had nothing to do with what Bruce practiced between 1967 and his death in 1973. On January 10th, 1996, Bruce Lee's first generation students, as well as Linda Lee Codwell and Shannon Lee, gathered to discuss the future of Jeet Kune Do. They decided their organization would be set up as a nonprofit and would be called the Junfan Jeet Kune Do Nucleus. It was at this summit there seemed to be stirrings of discontent and drama. Information is now scarce, but according to a Bruce Lee Educational Foundation website, it was Dan's choice to resign from the group, and upon leaving, he stated that we share the common goal of protecting and preserving Bruce's art. He wished the nucleus well and hoped that unfortunate political controversies could be put to rest. The JKD nucleus would completely dissolve by 2002, allegedly because of a lack of enthusiasm and the political controversies mentioned by Dan. 
This period seems to be the beginning of a major shakeup within the Jeet Kune Do world as Linda and Shannon would establish the Bruce Lee Foundation and begin a process of trademarking Bruce Lee's likeness, the names Bruce Lee, Jun Fan, and Jeet Kune Do, as well as the symbol for his school. According to Linda and Shannon, this was done to protect Bruce Lee's image and preserve his memory. Around 2005, the JKD community was abuzz with talk of a major dispute between Linda and Dan. It was said that Linda requested that Dan give her the training equipment and gear that Bruce Lee had left with him in the early 70s, seemingly to secure as many Bruce Lee artifacts as possible. Dan supposedly refused, saying these were things that Bruce gave him. People claiming to be Dan's students allege that Linda, Shannon, and a team of lawyers filed a lawsuit against Dan Inosanto and his Inosanto Academy of Martial Arts, and that after a lengthy court battle, Guro Inosanto was left financially unstable and unable to use the names Jun Fan or Jeet Kune Do, as well as the JKD symbol. It's noteworthy that the JKD symbol is not used in any Inosanto Academy advertising, despite Bruce Lee himself tapping Dan as the head instructor of his Jun Fan Kung Fu Institute in Los Angeles. One of Bruce Lee's students, Ted Wong, was able to retain the symbol and the name Jeet Kune Do for his school. Before Ted's passing in 2010, Linda showed great favoritism towards him, saying that his fighting style is the most similar to Bruce's. Around the time of the rumored lawsuit in 2005, one of Ted Wong's students, Terry Tom, authored a book called The Straight Lead, The Core of Bruce Lee's Jun Fan Jeet Kune Do. As a representative of the original JKD camp, Terry Tom dedicates a whole chapter of the book to what JKD is and what it isn't. In an obvious jab at Dan Inosanto, Terry Tom says that Bruce Lee never practiced Kali and JKD is not made up of 27 arts. In future years, Shannon would severely criticize or hinder any projects featuring her father that weren't made with her family's consent or involvement. Shannon and Linda would even go after Lee's family, with Bruce Lee's brother, Robert, saying that his family received threatening cease and desist orders from Linda's attorney. If Linda and Shannon did sue Diana's father into the ground, you wouldn't know it these days since they seem to be getting along famously. It could be that both Shannon and Diana's success in the entertainment business in recent years has made it easier for them to forget about whatever conflicts their parents may have had. But the JKD Concepts crowd has had some pretty harsh things to say about Linda and Shannon, as I've seen in many online martial arts forums. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will read them in my soon-to-be-announced upcoming live stream. Thanks for watching, and you can really help out the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell.